the simplest method for lovers is while they are making love they should make it a sacred experience if lovers want to make love a meditative experience then first thing is to drop the idea that it is sin that it is something wrong it is something immensely beautiful a tremendous gift of nature of existence for which you should not be guilty you should be grateful into what you finna do and get your tools and prepare yeah. like some baby or like some candles and people don't realize that setting up a mood is so oh important oh my god yes yes setting yes. up a mood yes. you got to get the mood like yeah. oh shit dude the mood can make the whole thing flow yeah. so crazy had the right music For real. see i like to like them candles had the right music and break and see i don't like to jump right into it you know what I mean? Nah, I don't want to jump right in. I'm gonna take my time. You, you go. I want you to be begging me. Come on, give it to me, baby. I'm like, not yet, not yet. <laughs> Wait, not yet, not yet. See, that was a beautiful point. You gotta take your time. Mm -hmm. You can't rush. You anytime like that. That uh, quote, haste makes waste. So very true. Like anytime you try to rush through sex, man, it, you like you gonna get you gonna get it off, but it ain't gonna be it ain't gonna be your <laughs> like it ain't gonna be magnificent. I like because I, like, I understand that a woman is is real mental, so I like to do things like send you sexy text messages that might not be explicit even, just something that hits at hints gives hints of what I want to do later on, and just just to put it in your mind while you at work to have you thinking about it. To have you sitting there at your desk like, ooh. Man, man you ever had sex with a baby? She was, like, talking shit to you? Yeah. I had this Italian babe call me a nigga one time. <laughs> <laughs> <For real>? Yeah. <laughs> she was like, nigga. <laughs> nigga, I was shot. I was like, I don't even know what to do. I don't even know how to react. Like, should I stop? What do you think? <laughs> hey, you're in, you're in, you're in mid-stroke. You just hear, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> For real, dog. Like, hey, and the more intense it got, the more times she said it. And I just kind of trying to pretend like I ain't here. Like, okay, all right. <laughs> and then, and she didn't say that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know what, though? Here's the oh, thing that people don't yeah. really pay, really know, man. Sexual energy isn't just the act of penetration, man. Like, sexual energy is just creative energy, period. Like, when you get passionate, when you're speaking about something, or when you're drawing something, you're an artist, and you're drawing that picture, all that creative yeah. energy is sexual energy. When you, when, when That's even so when Jordan was dunking on motherfuckers on, like, baseline, pow! Sexual energy, like, when you see people do stuff that they're real good at, all that is sexual energy that, that they're using. That explosive passion, that passion, that's all sexual energy. So, it is not just limited to the act of penetration. In the bedroom. You understand what I'm saying? And that this is why laughter and things of that nature is foreplay to sex because laughter is sexual energy too. Cause you that laughter it's like a like a feeling of bliss. It's it's in the same lane as, as the orgasm. When you laugh and you feel good. When you have an orgasm, you feel good. That's why um women like men with a sense of humor, because if a man can make you feel good by making you laugh. That's the indication that they can make you feel good in the bedroom when they touch that ass. You know, I find that men, and it's, it doesn't matter what age, men are really lazy in the bedroom. <laughs> that can be that can be that can be true. You know what I mean? That can be true because I, I hear a lot of women say that. You know what I mean? A lot of women say like, "Cause dudes kind of just want to bust off and go to sleep." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's kind of like, hey, for real. Like I I, I notice a lot of people is like that. You know what I mean? Not everybody got to because I think it takes a it takes a, it takes a certain kind of instinct to be inside of you to want to please somebody. You know what I mean? Yeah. And a lot of a lot of times, like the partner that you with may be selfish, and a selfish sexual partner is very, very, very counterproductive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because sex 
is about me giving to you and you giving back to me and me giving more back to you. That's what it's about. But a lot of people want to be in it like it's a damn race and shit. Like, I got to hurry up and for she come. I got to get, get done. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's how, that's how I mean, here's the thing. It needs to be creative things um, being done on both ends. You know, because I've noticed that women that I've been with, when I do creative things, I don't. I do things and don't expect things back. It's not like I'm saying I'll be doing all this creative shit for you, and you don't be doing no creative shit for me. It's not like that. But I'm saying, <laughs> if you could be a woman and be creative and do stuff like that for your man, like it would do the same thing on the from the other end. It would it would make your man think about you when he's at work. He'll be at work like, you know, trying Damn. to work. They'd be like, Jason, come back to me. Just, oh, oh yeah. You know, having flashbacks. And <laughs> you, hey, you know what? You know what? A lot of people do not realize. That foreplay is more important than actual sex. Like getting, cause when you, when you, when you, um, whether you with a woman or when you with your man, you gotta, man, you gotta prime that engine. You gotta get it ready. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't just jump into it and just, ah, oh, all right, now it's time to go, man. When you start, when you, when you with your girl, man, you grab her by the waist and you kind of like let, get put some slow music on, kind of let your hands move with the music and just vibe and almost pretend like you in the video for the song that you're listening to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And just do some old sexy shit, man. That shit makes the sex way more crazy. And for you know, real. and for me, the I'm one like, of the things I do to keep the heat in the bedroom man, is anticipation, man. You know what I mean? Like, I do certain things to women. Like, I'm going to give y'all a tip or something that I do. Y'all might want to try this. Now, I know all y'all might not be into porn, but I'm going to give y'all a tip that I usually... It's called the porn game. Try this, y'all, because it's it's intense. <laughs> all right, so what you do is you get some porn with you and your partner, and before you put in the porn, you set a timer to 20 minutes, okay? You put in the porn, and both of y'all lay there naked, and you watch the porn, and you and you can't you can't touch each other until the timer goes off. So if you touch yourself or you touch each other, you got to add another five minutes to the time. So while you sitting there watching porn, you just like, and then you talk smack to yourself like, girl, you know you want to get up on this, and you tell him, you know you want to get in this, and y'all just be sitting there like, Ooh. and then you know when that, and man, when that timer go off, ding, oh, you be like, nip, nip. it's it's intense. Y'all might want to try the porn game. Trust me. That's if you're in the porn. Yeah, yeah, that was one of my best relationships right there. She was, I was 22, she was 35. She just knew Ooh, what the fuck she was it. doing. I've never you know had no woman, you know what, son? I've never had no woman do anything like that to me. Man, like, she somebody. showed up at my room. She showed up at my, my uh, apartment with a trench coat on and some lingerie. Ooh, she stepped out of her about. car and walked in my door that's and was like, I'm talking about. I love that. That's yes. Yeah. I was like, yeah, this my girl right here. That's what here. I'm talking about. You know what I mean? <laughs> For real. Heck, shit. All the ladies take a lesson. This is what we like. <laughs> you know what I'm mean? saying? <laughs> no doubt. Show up to my door. No clothes on. <laughs> no drawers on. Just yeah, no drawers. Just a coat. Just showing up. <laughs> Coat, no drive. Yeah, man. But yeah, yeah right. that's, that's the show. We go right. wrap it up. I want to thank everybody. Good luck with that, girl. Good luck. Yeah, good luck. Thank I you hope guys. you get yourself. And you know what? You need you need a you need a not so common slow jam mix CD. Those are coming soon too. Yeah, coming yeah, soon. Coming soon. We're gonna be mixing it up with some old crazy shit. Yeah, I've been really trying, baby. <laughs> trying.